Hey, what's up? This is uh, Ryan ripping apart the bumper. Uh, so yeah, um, the transmission cooler has to come off because it is vented into the radi radiator. As you can see, you can see it clearly it's bending. Doesn't have no room behind. Looks like a U. So I took my transmission cooler lines off. Have it dripping into a bucket. So if you're removing the bumper, it's real simple. Uh, basically two bolts, two bolts. And then you have to take your fog lights off. For any other chrome bumpers or anybody else that might have a different model, there is a bar that runs from one of these back to the frame, and you have to unbolt that from the frame. But mine is just two simple brackets and two simple brackets. So it's pretty simple. Not too, not too hard, but a simple guy should be able to figure it out. And then I had to rip the wheel wells off, which that should be not too complicated of a job. It ain't too bad, it's just I have to replace it because of that. I have the new parts for $28 for both of them. So it wasn't too bad of a deal. Yeah, this one's really gone, as you can see. And uh, I just found out two seconds ago, I found out I had a squeaking noise in my truck. My, uh, my clutch fan, it went bad. You can see the moving in there, so... I have to figure out how it comes apart. I think it comes apart by that nut right there. You have to unspin that because there's no bolts on the front of it. So, yeah. For right now, I just got to get the transmission cooler off, bend the back straight, and then work on the fenders and that, and then get my clutch fan fixed later on at a later date. So, you will be seeing the transmission cooler getting bent back and the new bumper going on and the two new wheel wells going on. And also telling you how to take off the wheel wells. So far, so good. I got the bumper off, I got the transmission cooler off, which, that fucker is bent. And then the wheel wells come off next. Well, right now I'm gonna go see if my bumper will fit, my new one will fit into the old brackets, cause then I have to get new brackets. So, for what I did to take out the tabs, was, there was basically all these push-in tabs. Usually they're just push-ins and then you pull out. But these were put in, and then you punch them in, and then these split apart. That little pin goes in, and it puts these two out like it is shown there. So these were all the way around here. There was two here, but they broke, and there was two here originally, but they broke. So all they do is go back right into place. But well, right now, all I'm looking at is my cats they're pretty rusted the heat shield is pretty gone and the header is starting to rust so i have to keep an eye on all that everything else besides looks pretty good the bearings are pretty rusted. and every time i keep taking stuff off my truck i keep looking to see how easy it is to do a body lift and it's looking pretty easier and cheaper than what i was about to do so i don't know still but from there i got pretty well good of a start all right, on to the next one. Hey there, sorry for any of the uh, camera quality. So that's the old one of the passenger side fender. It's all plastic. There's no metal on it. This is factory. <clears throat> this one is the new one for the right, for driver side. It's a little different. It has no metal. This one, however, came with a metal shield. As you can see here, there are rivets. They go into the thing, so it is metal. Like you can see behind here, there is metal. I don't know if you guys can see it real well, but there, there is metal. Um, I guess it's for heat shield purposes. Um, all the, all the things went back into according to places, even though it was plastic. Everything went back in. It looks real nice and looks real black. So I got that. Now the only thing that I'm really considering is these things that go for the bumper. I need to put these on to get to the bumper, to get to the bumper back onto the truck, and make the bumper hole again. So yeah. Alright. From there on, and then I had just to adjust this one. I had to cut a little bit of plastic just to put it in, because it was currently out of balance. So yeah. And that's all I have for right this second. Hi there guys, I'm back here with another segment, uh, bumper. Okay, so this is the brand new bumper. Brand new bumper, 
had these original tabs. I put all brand new tabs along the bottom here. These, I couldn't find tabs for these. So eventually there's going to be one, two, three, four square lights in there as, you know, square lights. Fog lights I cleaned up real well and I put them in there. They look very good. The bumper on the back of the bumper looks really good. I had to take these off my original bumper because the new bumper did not have these for these brackets to go on here like this. Basically these slide onto here like this. There's two bolts. So they go in there like that. And then this one goes to here like this. It is very very important that you have these on there correctly. If you do not, your whole fucking day is going to be a little fucked up, bud. But that's about it. Alright? Alright. And then next is the fender. The other we will. So, in this current picture, this is after the video. In the current picture that you were looking at, you're seeing the um, new bumper and the new headlights on the uh, truck itself. My coworker is right next to me, so yeah. Basically, what happened was the fog lights I took out. I put um, cherry bomb from Zep. It's a hand wash. I put it inside there. It has like sand in it or whatever. So I took it in there. And I sh shook the uh, water and the uh, soap up, and I cleaned the lights up, the fog lights up, real nice. They are a little bit brighter, not by much, but I still am gonna get some kind of different fog lights for this eventually when I get another bumper. The bumper went back in according to the place, but the passenger side is a little more, it's like an eighth inch more than the other driver's side. Um, so the wheel wells went into according to plan. Um, my license plate went on back perfectly. Uh, I didn't put the three screws in that go underneath the, the four holes that you can see under above the license plate. Um, it was pretty tight of a fit didn't really um matter much so that's what happened now in the next picture that is popping up here is my truck before the the new bumper went on basically what you can see here is you can see all the imperfections in the um the lights where the bumper is hanging down it looks like it's folding in on itself you can see where it's just straight and not curved to the grill. Um, I do have some alignment issue with my hood now. The pa passenger side doesn't close all the way, but the driver's side does. So I might have to do some adjustments on the, um, what is it, what are they called? Uh, the hinges on the, we'll just call them hinges for right now. The hinges on the hood latches where it closes. So I have to adjust probably them down or up depending on what, is the real problem there or I'll just adjust the um, two stoppers on the bottom of the truck which is where when you shut the hood it sits on the two bumpers um the wheel wells were real easy to take out and it was very very uh, easy uh, the, the process of taking the bumper the transmission cooler the wheel wells off took me about four hours but that's because I didn't have the proper uh, hookups for the bumper to go onto the metal sleeve. Um, I had to run out and grab new ones, but they didn't have four packs in store, so I had to just deal with one. So right now my bumper's half-assed and put on. Um, so the bumper looks good so far, and I just had to replace the clutch fan. The clutch fan started going bad, started doing a lot of squeaking. I thought it was due to the accident, but uh, wasn't. So um, what I did was I. Um, I bought one online for $32. It was $172 in AutoZone and Napa. So basically that's what I did. I bought one off online because it's $32 and it gets a four-year warranty. Napa is only offering you a year warranty and for $172. Why am I going to pay $172 for that day if I can wait till just four days from now and get it for $32 and have it so much cheaper than $172? So that was my whole ordeal on this. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I hope you learned something. And I will see you guys in the next video. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me. Even if it's fake.